everybody! If you've never seen my face before, my name is Gigi, and if you have, welcome back. Welcome back to the moving series. I'm gonna take you along with me on a productive week in my life. We have so much to do from some home DIYs to target runs to just organizing and deep cleaning this apartment to make it start to feel like home. Because right now, I'm living in a mess. We're gonna be starting on the room transformations very soon, so make sure you subscribe to see that. And let's get started because we have a lot to do. Mwah. Last night, I got a bunch of stuff just kind of like put away, very basic way to just get it off the floor so that we can like walk around, but nothing's really organized. There's a lot of deep cleaning left that I need to do. We need to go grocery shopping. I also need to do the Target run. I need to like find a dresser and we just need to do some like massive organizing. I had to make a really strong coffee this morning because we have a lot to do today. Let's get started and let's go to Target. But first I went to the vintage and antique store. This is the vibe I'm going for for the kitchen. I feel like I really scored at this location. Everything was so precious. Okay, I just had the most successful trip to one of my favorite thrift stores. They have like so much like actual antique vintage stuff at that thrift store. It's run by a bunch of just the sweetest like elderly women. I did not go in there for clothes or anything for myself that wasn't apartment related, but I did find this really pretty little beaded bag that was just like giving mermaid core and I had to grab it. First of all, all the ladies were really excited about my teacups and then she was packing that up and she was like, oh, this is so cute. She was like, not much will fit in there, but you'll need the change for mad money when you're mad at your man on a night out and you need to call a cab. <laughs> so precious anyway finally at target i'm put i've been putting this off just a little bit because i'm afraid of how much money i'm about to spend in here but we need a lot of cleaning supplies so let's do this I'm doing a little bit of online shopping right now. I've been making a mood board on Pinterest and I recently found out that on Etsy you can like make folders of things. So I've been adding everything that I've been really liking for the apartment that's like vintage and stuff to a folder on Etsy. This room feels so like just relaxing. I'm feeling so lucky to just be able to sit here and like watch the leaves blow around. It's gonna keep hanging out and doing a little bit of scrolling on Etsy. Yay, online shopping, we love it. I'm literally so in love with this painting. I might just go ahead and get it because it's so beautiful. I think this is so cute for like the kitchen. Also these, that price is not, that price is not doing it for me, but these are so cute and just like unique. These are like stunning. I don't know how I feel about this price yet, but I feel like I feel like this room needs some like lacy curtains. I think it'd be just so beautiful with how much sun it gets. These, look at the bows. Are you kidding? But I'm gonna be here for the next like hour or so. I have the window open. There's like breeze coming in. This moving process has been a lot, so I need a little break. <laughs> got back from Trader Joe's and we finally have a full fridge which is really nice. I got some flowers. I feel like flowers just always brighten my mood and make me feel amazing and it's time. This apartment gets its first flowers. Look how pretty they look. Got some eucalyptus from Trader Joe's as one does and since this bathroom is not at its prime right now we need anything we can do to make it just feel a little bit nicer until I get the organization going in here. This tiny shower. Because this bedroom is a little bit smaller, before we moved, we sold the dresser. I didn't really think it'd be that big a deal, but this is what our room was looking like. It was just time to get the clothes off the floor, and so today, we are going on a mission to find a dresser. I actually have such a vision I'm very excited to share very soon about how I'm going to completely transform this into like my dream closet. But I'm gonna save that for another video. So here's your reminder to subscribe if you want to see that. I've never been more excited about a 
interior DIY project before. And right now we're just gonna figure out how to get the clothes off the floor. I did learn that these can be taken out and fit a dresser inside of it. Amazing. I am about to go pick up a dresser. Well, actually, did I forget it again? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, my ADHD is going crazy this morning. Literally, but the dresser that I'm picking up, the picking it off up of a Facebook marketplace, and she didn't have a measuring tape, so I'm not exactly sure it would fit. So I left to go get the dresser, and then I realized I forgot my measuring tape, so then I turned around. I just went inside to go get the measuring tape. Literally turned the car around to come back for the sole purpose of grabbing the measuring tape. And then I went inside, came back out to the car, got back in the car, turned the car on, and realized that I forgot the measuring tape inside. What? One moment, please. Okay. <laughs> now we're in business. <laughs> Acquired the measuring tape. Let's go pick up this dresser. Okay, it's back there. That may have been a really dumb decision to actually buy because when I measured it, it was like a little bit bigger than what I had written down that I needed. But, but... I don't really have another option. Or it may just not fit and I may just end up selling it myself, which would be a bummer. Driving away feeling like that was a really dumb decision. Um, but sometimes like you measure stuff and I'm like, okay, but like, did I measure the closet right? It's like an inch off. Basically, I have no idea if that's gonna fit. So let's go home and see if that was a really dumb financial decision. I think I've made a horrible mistake. It's so big. Oh, no. Social anxiety got the best of me this morning. And I was just getting super confused of which measurement was which. And I was like, it might fit, but it might not. And then she was like, are you gonna take it? Are you gonna take it? And I was like, yeah, and immediately as soon as I paid her, I was like, I think that was a mistake, but it's but fine, it's fine. Mm. So we're just gonna work with it. Maybe there's a miracle that this will fit in the closet. Oh my god Oh my god, I'm just... this closet does go back even if it was to fit. I couldn't even open the drawers Why did I do that? But it's fine. You know what? This is a lesson. This is a teaching moment for all of us in social anxious moments. I definitely should have just said, hi, um, it doesn't match my measurements. I'm sorry, or I need more time to really figure this out. Plan B. We need another plan. I deep cleaned this thing for a good 35 minutes until I was completely sure that the past owner had been completely washed away. Then I decided to lift my mood to do a little interior DIY. I have a ton of this floral wallpaper and I felt like it would be super cute to line the inside of the drawers so I measured the drawers. Don't worry, I actually measured correctly this time. Cut the wallpaper to the right size and used painter's tape on the inside just to secure it. Yes, I used my hair cutting scissors to cut this. I don't know where my other scissors went okay this was literally the easiest DIY but I feel like it's just such a pretty hidden touch that makes it a little bit more me now that the papers in there and everything I feel like we are finally ready to put this mountain of clothes away This may be a controversial opinion, but I've decided to paint this room white. Purple is not a color that makes me feel happy. In fact, if there's one color that makes me just not feel good, it's purple. I don't know, it gives me a, a weird reaction that no other colors give me. We cannot have that in our sanctuary, in our bedroom. And for my second reason, I live, I live in, in the Northeast. The northeast. 90% of the year, it's cloudy and dark. I feel like this room is gonna feel really dark, somewhat gray, which I just don't think is a smart decision. Number three, there are random places on the walls where the purple has been pulled up. And the wall needs to actually be a little bit repaired. I think the last tenant in here used some command strips and I don't know, didn't do it right or something. Let's go spend oogles of money at Lowe's because I will do anything for the aesthetics. is pink, very on brand. Uh, 
I have just been informed that I've been doing this very wrong. Let me show you the wall that I did. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, obviously it's not done. Let me turn down the exposure. Anyway, so that's pretty bad. I'm gonna continue now with these much better brush strokes. I think it's gonna look really good when we finish. This is what they mean when they say scraping the barrel. I finally know. We literally, literally scraped the barrel. Here's the sleeping setup for tonight. Let's make our little sleeping sanctuary. The best part about painting your room is that then you get to carry your mattress into your living room and have a slumber party. Come on, look at this setup. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna watch a movie and tomorrow morning we will see how our paint job went. I'm very much obsessed with the walls. They look so good. Just filming reels, so I'm in this. But I think I'm gonna keep wearing it because right now I feel like I'm in a movie where it's raining and I'm gonna read my book. If anything can get me to read a book, it's the rain. my headphones which means it's time to get something done i'm watching gilmore girls but in french because on netflix you can change it to be in french french subtitles but i slowed it down which i didn't realize you could do on netflix but you can you can slow the speed down so i'm trying that and that way i'm able to like pick up more and read along and it's really been helping me i feel like so we're gonna do this we're gonna watch this while we clean plus i've literally watched this show so many times that well, like know what's going on context wise, which hopefully will help me when I'm listening. That's a good like learning language tip. I'm on one of my favorite episodes when Emily and Lorelai go to the spa together. <laughs> if you know, you know. Put my plant into this. For now, I feel like that looks so pretty. 